Hey everybody, I'm here today to tell you what the L means on the gear shifter of an automatic car. If you've ever driven an automatic car and you look at the gear shifter and you notice the L on the gear shifter, I'm going to tell you what that does, generally speaking, and I'm also going to tell you a few situations in which you would use that. All right, without further ado, let's get right into the video. So the L on the gear shifter basically leaves the car in the lower gears. It allows your car to stay in the lower gears. Now, generally speaking, if you put the car in drive and you start driving the car, the car is going to upshift as you increase speed. Meaning if you're driving the car, it's going to go from first to second, second to third, and so forth. The automatic transmission is going to upshift for you. Now the L pretty much prevents that from happening. Now in different cars, this is going to mean different things. With some cars, it's going to keep it in the lowest gear. And with other cars, it's going to keep it in lower gears for longer periods of time for higher ranges of speed. Now, what are some driving situations in which you might need to use the L on the gear shifter? Well, it's really important if you are carrying a heavy load, you're going to need that torque and that horsepower that are available in the lower gears to carry that load. Let's say I have a trailer and it's a heavy trailer or I've jam-packed my SUV with stuff, with heavy stuff. I might use the L gear on the gear selector to make it much easier for the car to drive that around now you see there's more horsepower and torque accessible in the lower gears and that's evident because that's why you get more acceleration in first gear than you do in fifth gear okay it's very simple you get more horsepower and torque more power we'll leave it at that in the lower gears and if you're carrying something heavy around then obviously you need as much power as you possibly can get so that's why it's important to use the L in situations in which you need that power uh, because you are carrying a heavy load. Also, another thing, and it's especially important with this second situation, if you are driving and you are carrying quite a bit of weight and you're driving uphill, you're going to need the power to get your car uphill. Because if your car shifts into fourth gear and you're carrying a heavy load, it's going to struggle, it's probably going to struggle to get that heavy load up the hill because it needs that power. But instead, if you leave it in L and let's say your car stays in second gear or first gear if you're going at a lower speed you're going to be able to get up that hill much easier now granted your car will not be able to go as fast when you put it in l it's going to keep it in the lower gears like i said which limits your speed with that being said so you're not going to be able to go up the hill as fast but you will be able to go up the hill while putting less stress on your car and you're going to be able to make it up the hill period because if you're carrying a heavy load up a hill and you're really stressing the power of your car like you don't know if you're car has enough power and you put it in L, you know, your car will basically unlock all the power it, that it can unlock for that speed. So it's important to not only know what the purpose of the L gear is on an automatic car, but also you really want to know when you can use it and why you would be using it because there's no point in knowing what it does but not knowing the situations in which you can use it so if you're carrying a heavy load and look into it in your owner's manual you really want to check your owner's manual and consult your owner's manual to see what it does in your car because like i said i'm talking about generally speaking here so take a look at your owner's manual but generally speaking if you're carrying a heavy load and especially if you're carrying a heavy load up a hill you should consider using the l gear um like i said it'll limit your speed you'll go up that hill slower but you'll get the horsepower and torque you'll get the power that you need to bring that load up the hill and that's basically it if you like this video be sure to give it a thumbs up let me know what you think down below as a comment and of course be sure to subscribe for more great car and driving videos just like this one and that's all i have for you today thanks for watching